So welcome to lesson seven of your electricity unit. And this lesson seven looks at required practical on IV characteristics. So to start with, pause the video and have a go at the knowledge check on the page, first page of lesson seven, just answering questions based on your previous lessons. Pause the video now and do that. Right, should have done that. So if you've unpaused the video, if you could just mark your work in green pen it as um, we go through this, just see if you've got it correct, or if not, change it so what you have got incorrect is now correct. So the circuit symbol for a resistor, thermistor, sorry, circuit symbol for a diode, circuit symbol for a lamp, just get this one up, circuit symbol for a resistor, so you've got four symbols there, a non-ohmic conductor, lamp diode or an LDR, how the resistance of a thermistor changes with temperature, decreases as the temperature increases. Describe how the resistance of an LDR changes with light intensity and lighting circuits in street lights for the use of an LDR. Good, right, so if we now move on to the next page, you'll see the practical that would be done normally um, is about constructing circuits and drawing circuit diagrams and measuring the current cross components as you change the potential difference and then plotting graphs of current against potential difference for each component. So to begin with, can you pause the video and go and watch the first YouTube link in the description below, which gives you a methodology for this practical, how you go about doing it and some useful results. So if you do that, pause the video, make some notes, maybe on the notes page or just your own revision notebook, just the steps involved. Right, you should run pause the video. So if you have done that and you've gone through this video, you'll see there's some additional information that you can make some annotations to your own notes on. And the first one is to do with health and safety in this practical. Now, what you are doing is you are connecting components up to a circuit and you are putting voltage through it. So these components get hot. Wires get hot, resistors get hot if you touch them because this increase in temperature is caused by a heating effect. And what that is, is that is electrons moving through the wires, through the components and vibrating the metal ions and the atoms that make them up, causing them then to release thermal energy into the surroundings. Now, You'll see a second link in um, the descriptions below, which is to a simulator for a circuit builder. What I'd like you to do now is have a go and go and have a play, pause the video and see if you can go and build this circuit using the circuit builder. Add in variable resistor, fixed resistor, a voltmeter in parallel around the fixed resistor, an ammeter. And if you want to, you can add in a switch as well, because the reason why you can add a switch into the circuit is it'll actually improve the accuracy so the current doesn't get too large because you can turn the circuit on and off because a too large current actually leads to greater resistance values being recorded because you've got a greater heating effect and there's more thermal energy being given off by the components and the wires because the metal ions are hit, being hit by more electrons and they're vibrating more. So just an extra little bit of detail there. So pause the video, go and have a look at the circuit simulator from the description below and see if you can build that circuit. Right, once you've done that, you've added how to go at building the circuit, you've added an annotation to your notes. We'll look at the characteristic of a resistor. Now, as you'll see on the next couple of pages, there are some results. These results are taken from the video that you watched earlier. What I'd like you to do is make a note of these results, and then importantly, I'd like you to then have a go at plotting a graph of both sets of results with current on the y-axis and voltage for potential difference on the x-axis, okay? And it's important to bear in mind that the size of the, or direction of the current in an IV graph is in through each component in a circuit it actually determines the shape of an IV graph. So go we'll and pause the video now and plot graphs of those two data in one graph and one single graph um, on the next page. So you'll see you've got some graph paper here. I've got it plotting it. If you are unsure, leave the video running and I'll show you an example. So, your shape of the data in the graph should look like this. 
As current increases, potential difference increases, and the relationship is linear. So it's a linear relationship. So as the current increases, so does the potential difference. Now, explain how the resistance of a resistor can be determined from an I grid B graph. Can you remember that V equals IR? Voltage equals current times resistance. So therefore, if you rearrange the equation, you end up with resistance equals voltage divided by current. So how you determine that is you would find a voltage on the x-axis. You'd read up to the graph and you read across and you'd find the current. Those two numbers and the voltage to the current, you then divide and that is your resistance. Good, so hopefully you've had a go at applying that. We need to have a go at a similar idea for now looking at a lamp. So, characteristics of a lamp. Again, with the circuit builder, pause the video and have a go at building this circuit. So instead of the resi fixed resistor, you've got the lamp and you've got the variable resistor, the ammeter and the voltmeter in parallel connected up to a battery. So use the circuit builder and have a go at that. Right. If you've unpaused the video, because you had to go at the circuit builder, if you come on to the next page, you'll then see another set of results that I'd like you to make a note of. And I'd like you to draw for me again another graph on the next page. A graph that contains axes just like that, an X and a Y. So a four quadrant graph, okay, that plots all of this data with current on the Y axis and voltage on the x-axis okay so pause the video now and on the next page on the graph paper plot that graph of current on the y-axis and voltage on the x-axis right so if you've paused the video and you've had a go at that you should have got, done it on graph paper and you hopefully will have ended up with a shape of a graph that looks a little bit like that from that data now, explain why the IV graph for a filament light bulb looks the way it does. Now, there is a reason for this, and it comes back to that idea of the heating effect. So, if you remember, we said the heating effect is due to electrons moving through a wire and knocking into metal atoms and ions that make up that make up the component that make up the wire and causing them to vibrate. Now, the heating effect, as the voltage increases, resistance increases due to more heating effect. So as you'll see, as voltage increases current increases but then it starts to flatten off it starts to flatten off because the resistance is increasing at this point and that's because more atoms and more ions within the circuit components and within the wires are vibrating making it harder for the electrons to move around the circuit good so hopefully you've plotted that data and you've made a little note of that answer next to it now third thing is a diode okay now if you remember a diode is a circuit component that only allows current to flow one way around it. So rather than making a circuit, what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and have a look at the third, third YouTube video link in the description below about a diode IV graph data. And I'd like you to use the data from that graph and jot down that data. Once you've done that, I'd then like you to again plot a graph of that data. So, and that graph will be current on the y-axis and potential difference on the x-axis. So, pause the video, have a look at the third YouTube video on the um, description below and plot the data in that video for me, having recorded it. 
Right, hopefully you've done that. So if you've unpaused the video, we can now look at the data. So the data from the video is this, okay? So you've got voltage increasing progressively, and you've got current at nothing, 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 and then increasing really quickly. So if you were to plot that onto a graph, you'd end up, if you've plotted that data onto that graph paper here, you'd end up with a shape of a graph that looks something like this. So the current doesn't increase at all up to a point and then suddenly increases really quickly. That's because a diode, as you remember, only, only goes, only allows current to go in one direction. So at this point, the resistance is incredibly high because it's not allowing current to flow in both directions. Whereas here, the current is now flowing in the one direction that the diode allows it to. So the increase in voltage forces more electrons to move around the circuit quicker, causing the current to increase, and therefore the movement of electrical charge to increase. Good. So if you've got three graphs plotted from that data that I've given you. Now, what I'd like to do is now go on to the exam questions on the next couple of pages. So pause the video at this point and then start to have a look at the questions, have a go, use any revision material you've got, any um, bits and pieces from um, your own notes from previous lessons and things like that. And then we'll go through the answers in a moment. Right. So hopefully you've had a go using some materials, using any revision materials you want. So we'll go through the questions. So for this graph, look at the shape. It goes up, increases, and then it starts to flatten off the current. That means the shape of the graph is related to a lamp because here, here you've got the heating effect occurring. Student wants to investigate how the current through a filament lamp affects the resistance. Use the circuit symbols in the boxes to draw a circuit diagram. Hopefully you've got a circuit diagram that looks a little bit like this. Describe how the student could use her circuit to investigate how current through a filament lamp affects its resistance. So I could you use the circuit to investigate how current through a filament lamp affects resistance. So using an ammeter and a voltmeter to measure current and potential difference, you could then change the resistance of the um, circuit using a variable resistor and then measuring the changes in voltage and current you could then do voltage divided by current equals resistance to look at the effect of changing current on the resistance running through the lamp and then describe how the resistance of the filament lamp changes as the current increases through it as the current increases the resistance increases Use figure 2 to estimate the resistance of a filament lamp when a current of 0.1 amps passes through it. So, when a current of 0.1 amps passes through, we've got a resistance of 6.6. .6. Reading up, and your resistance is of 6.6. .6. Which one of these graphs shows how current changes when the current through resistance is at a constant temperature? The potential difference across the resistor changes. So remember, a resistor is a ohmic conductor, so the re relationship is directly proportional. Now, two things. Firstly, we just I think we've done everything for this lesson. Yeah. So, if you now want to go back over your notes and have a look at the graphs that you should have drawn, the shapes of the graphs, and reviewed those answers from the text um, within the lesson, and see if you can help go at these knowledge check questions for me. Right, should have unpaused the video now, and so if we just reveal for you the answers to the knowledge check questions, mark them and correct them please. So just pause the video, mark them and correct your answers as you require. Good. Right. The last thing for you to have a look at then is just if there was anything within this lesson you weren't particularly sure of, have a look at the um, YouTube videos in the descriptions below um, that basically review the content and it'd be worth you making your own notes from just in case you 
feel there's anything you've missed during this lesson. Otherwise, well done, you should have gone through and plotted three graphs for a diode, a resistor, and a filament lamp, and seen the shapes of those graphs and learned that those shapes of graphs are important to know, and ones that you have to learn and ensure that you are comfortable with to be able to recall the component and the shape of the IV graph that they make.